I cannot recommend it highly enough. It's thoroughly changed our riding experience. Like I said, all we use this for is pillion passenger and myself, but it has completely changed the experience. To clarify, I'm not a major motorbike rider. I don't go out every weekend over the hills, up and down dales, etc, etc. However, what I really, really do like to do is when I'm on holiday, hire a moped or a motorbike and um, use that to see where I am. So, for example, out in Bali, every time I'm out there, we get a bike. Uh, Thailand bike. We've just been out to Barbados. There weren't many bike hire shops there, but we got one and you just get to see areas that you wouldn't normally see. So because of that, we bought some helmets a few years ago. My wife rides pillion and we just have a great time. The one thing that I struggle with, though, is um, actually having a conversation because we're not on the bike for five minutes. We can be on there for two or three hours. We're definitely out for eight to nine hours a day. And some of the places where we go, they're really long rides. When we are out, I don't like having to turn around and shout so that she can hear me or her lean into me and shout because when that's happening, you can't have a conversation. So that's why I've bought this Lexin B4 FM set. Uh, it's a set of two. That's how they come. So you're not buying them singly. And this should mean that we get to have conversations when we're riding rather than shouting at each other, which is what normally happens. Uh, I'm sure that find any married couple says the same. Right. We bought these two open faced helmets. Um, you do get two kits in there. So you get a kit for a closed fist or a convertible helmet, uh, and you get a kit for an open fist. What I'm going to show you now is how to fit it to an open fist. Before we do that, let's just go through what you actually get in the kit. All right, we get the two most important things, the actual intercoms themselves. And instructions. Go through those in a moment. This pack is basically what you see here. So I'll go through that. You get two packs for two helmets. Move that to one side. Just pop those there. Right. Two uh, speakers. And they've got a self-adhesive pad on the back. And if you take that off, because it's Velcro, you can actually see that's the speaker there. Let's pop that back in. Put that over. Oops, where is it? Put that over and back on. You'll also see that you've got one long cable and a shorter cable. And the reason for that is obviously, if that's on this side and this is where your connection to the unit is going to be, you need a longer cable to go around the back of the helmet to the other side. So you get two of those, one for each helmet. You get two boom mics, which is, this is what we're going to be using today. You get somewhere in here, um, a button mic for inside the helmet. And there we go, there's the button mic. Uh, not button because you've got to press something to speak, but button because of the size of it. You also get your mounting bracket. Now, there's two ways to connect this mounting bracket, either up inside or on either side of the helmet, uh, physically screwed and clamped together, or a self-adhesive pad to click it onto. And, uh, the actual unit itself is removable from the from the bracket. Right, okay, let's get it fitted. Right, this should be relatively easy. Let's just move the units to one side, move the boom mic to one side, move the button mic. Right, so everything's gone there. Move the helmet. You get the charging cable as well, I forgot to say about that. Right, so we've got the helmet. First thing to do, just take the pads off. Now, this isn't the best helmet to show because on a lot of helmets, you might already have a, a recessed area there that'll take the, that'll take the uh, speaker, but not on these. So let's take the back off it. We're gonna run some cables around there move it forward so the boom mic is going to come on this side just there so this needs to be the shorter side and then the longer side needs to be here because it's going to run round there isn't really much space at all there so we need the longer length
which is this one. And that is going to fit in to there. And we'll have the cable coming down the side. So first things first, take the backing off, very adhesive. And the thing with these fitting kits is, obviously you'll replace your helmet at some point. You can actually get kits uh, or replacement kits to do all this over again without having to buy full new units. Right, so that's the space. And we need to get this with the cable pointing this way into that space, which is never an easy thing to do. We need to get it in there as far as it will go. Pull the material out of the way. Just make sure it's stuck down. And there you go, you can see that. And now that cable is just going to run around the back. And we need to get the shorter speaker and do exactly the same on this side now. So again, pull that out of the way. That's where it's going to be going. So we need to get that in place. Now, the wire pointing back this way and into that space. So there's the space. down as far as possible and there you go if you do mess around with the wire don't worry about it you can just pull it off the velcro and twist it round anywhere so we've now got both of them in place that one and that one and the cables we're going to tuck those away behind there and then what we need to do is this is going to fit into the unit which is going to be attached there. And then this is going to attach the boom mic, which is going to be further down there. Right, let's do that. All right, so to attach the unit to the helmet, you've got a number of different things that you can use. So there's the actual clamp itself. You can see the unit. So that goes against the helmet, which is quite funky because you don't actually see that. Um, nice little touch though that you don't see. So that goes against the helmet, the helmet's there, and then that just slides into the bracket like so. Down, and then you'll hear it click, and it clicks. Now there is um, a release mechanism. You push that down the back, it presses the bracket in, and then it just comes off. However, you don't really need that. It does just come off without, although it's, it's, it is on the originally, it's not gonna slip out. You can push it and it comes off without having to carry the release plate around. So that's good. Just move that. You get some additional rubber pads if you need to pad it out at all. You also get a spacer bracket, which would go something along the lines of that, which is going to bring it out more. So it's, it's going to fit quite a number of helmets. Uh, and the, the nice thing is, it fits the one that I've got. So bring that round. That's going to go on the outside, like so. And this is going to go on the inside. And that bit's nice and easy. All you do is get it, push it home like that. It goes down, you can see it there. Get this one. Don't need any of the brackets or anything. That goes onto there, like so. And then you just screw, using the Allen key and the supplied screws, just two screws into the back, tighten it up, and then it's clamped on and it's not going anywhere. Let's do that. Now there's the deliberate mistake. Because of the spacer bracket, there's two different sizes of screws. So one long one, one short one. And if you're not using the spacer bracket, you just need to use the smaller of the two screws. 
Uh, before I tighten it up, let's just see it on the side there. See that it's in the right place. Probably going to bring it around a bit. Get the boom mic, just so that we can see that in situ. Making sure that nothing's blocking anything. Bring it around a bit more. Right, that should be perfect. Right, okay, tighten that up. And if we take that off, that bracket isn't going anywhere. That's securely on there now. You can see the, uh, the clip there to actually hold that in. Right, okay. Boom mic. Right, so using the boom mic and not the button mic, again, because it's open faced, it's going to be going on there like that. I have checked in the mirror to see uh, see where this is going to be pretty central to my mouth and, and it's there. Don't worry too much about getting the angle right when you stick it on because of the Velcro pad, you can actually move the mic around. So let's do that. Cleaned up, I just want to get rid of my fingerprints there. Take the self-adhesive off and that goes like so and that's how easy that bit was just stick it down obviously then it can it can come off where you just run your finger over it pop it back on there is another retaining clip as well which is that that goes over it like that I don't know where you'd use that. Uh, I don't need to use it anywhere on this helmet, so I'll just take that off. Right, so that's secured down. Now let's just get all the cables hidden and the unit put on. Okay, that's that. Get the unit, pop that on. And as you can see, on the back, lift up the rubber plug there, and that will just fit into the USB point like so. Not into the charging one underneath, into the one at the back. And right, so we've got the boom mic on. I have actually used that other clip. I've pushed the mic further back and used the, uh, the other retaining clip there. Just comes off or clips back on. Just to stop it from bouncing around in the wind more than anything else. Get the mic connector. That's in there. And that's it. Right, let's see it on me so that you can see how stunning I look in it. And then I'll get the other helmet done and then we'll, uh, we'll do a review on it. Very, very easy to purr. Just pick the first device up. There's your power button and your comms button. Press them both together to turn it on. When it starts to flash blue, simply press the comms button for a couple of seconds. It starts to flash red and blue. Do the same with the second one. Power button. Once the power is on, press the comms button for a couple of seconds. It starts to flash and basically they're in purring mode now. All you do, press the comms button on one of the devices. And that's it, they're all purred. And now you've just got flashing blue. Right, so absolutely fantastic. Um, the main reason for getting this is we do a bit of travelling, especially in the Far East and um, in Barbados and places like that. And one of the things that we do is everywhere we go, we get a, a bike. Not, not a huge bike or anything like that. I don't travel in a pack, but my wife's the pillion passenger. And what happened was we got sick and tired of shouting over each other's shoulders. So having got this now, we drive around and it's superb. We can just chat without shouting and I, I can't recommend it highly enough. One of the things that you can do is you can both listen to music. If you want to talk to each other, all you do simply click the uh, where I find it just click the X and it'll switch back over to the intercom I can get directions uh, from Google or I can listen to directions from my wife which is much easier than it used to be 
I can use the voice assistant, I can answer calls automatically or make calls while I'm riding. The only drawback has been so far on this trip was um, actually we lost connection because we'd um, well we did something anywhere and I was out in the middle of nowhere and I had to find YouTube to find out how to, how to reconnect the, the two units but for the price I cannot recommend it highly enough it's thoroughly changed our riding experience like I said all we use this for is Perry and passenger and myself but it has completely changed the experience very very clear um, you've only got your, your, your two speakers you can alter the um, to the volume on either the phone or, or on the unit itself. Very, very easy to fit. You've already seen how I did that. The audio quality is fantastic. Even at 60, 70, 80, 90 kilometers per hour with the wind noise and everything, you can still hear through the speakers, but more importantly, you don't get lots of uh, wind noise on the mic. But I suppose the best thing is, we take these helmets with us, but if I was to get another set of helmets from anywhere, you can just get the, the things push get more in the original fixing kit to be able to put it onto another helmet. Uh, I think I do need to say, so we've been here, this is our seventh day now. I've even left this on, my wife's left hers on overnight and I'm still at 50% and we've used them every day. Uh, but yeah, from me and my wife, huge recommendation.